This is a special podcast presentation from 700WLW.com. This is Casey Boland On Demand. Uh, Casey Boland standing by. He of Hanghold Capital Management, as you should know by now. And Casey, taking a look at uh, millennials and their saving habits, they are very much on the conservative side to the point where they're not doing themselves a whole lot of good. No, they're prudishly conservative investors, and yeah, if they hope, ever hope to have enough for retirement, they're going to need more to be more tolerant of risk. They're going to have to be investing more in stocks. So when you look at the millennials that are investing from the low 20s to the mid-30s, according to a study by UBS, millennials kept a little bit over 50% of their portfolio in cash with a small percentage in bonds and just under 30% in stocks. I mean, they look more like the conservatism from the World War II generation who came of age during the Great Depression, or excuse me, World War I. Yeah, I mean, th- and there are those who said this might happen back during the, the crash of 08. They said, well, yeah, younger people might not trust the stock market, and it appears to have had, had that effect. Yeah, you see that deep skepticism of stocks and their preference for cash. But what millennials don't realize is their largest asset class, cash and money markets, while it appears safe, they're earning negative returns when you account for inflation. And millennials, they're the perfect age group to take advantage of long-term benefits of compounding returns the stock market has to offer. Over the past uh, 150 years, what's the average return after inflation in the market? And yes, that's 6% after inflation. So you're keeping your, your purchasing power, which is so important. So if you take a 25-year-old who's got a 40-year time horizon, let's say they invest $5,000 each year until they get to retirement at age 65. If they're very, very conservative, let's say they average 4%, and that might be at best. Over that 40 years, they'll accumulate about 475000 But if they ratchet the risk of it, invest in stocks, they average 7% per year. That's 3% more they'll end up with a million dollars. That's double by increasing the risk. I'd say time to hop on it. How about you? Uh, yeah, it'll be a bumpy ride, but it's the ride to hop on to for the millennial because they'll be rewarded for investing in stocks over the long term.